So you've watched like a hundred of these videos and still nothing is motivating you to start one of these challenges. You're scared of failing, scared of the hard work, scared you won't be consistent. Well, I started two challenges and guess what? I failed them both. If I can fail, you can fail. Because you know what? It means that you're trying. And like the iconic Hilary Duff said, Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. So take it from her. Look, I still got a little bit of results. We tend to glorify the big victories, like losing 20 pounds, losing 10 pounds. But how about the little things? How about instead of focusing on all of the things that we lose, what if we focused on the things that we gained? I gained so much self-love from this challenge. I gained so much confidence in my body, as well as endurance, and I feel like all of these things strengthened me as a person so much more over the past two weeks. So if you're like me and you struggle, keep watching, here's my story. And I currently weigh 155 pounds, which is 70 kilograms. I'm ready. I don't know about you guys, but being consistent for me is so hard. Like. In the beginning, I have so much energy, so much motivation and power to just get things done. I feel like I can move Mount Everest with my bare hands, like anything. And then reality sinks in. Mmm, yummy. So I have to be honest, that workout killed my entire soul today. It was two videos and I stopped very frequently. Like, I would say I stopped every like 30 seconds to one minute. Of the exercises, like the plank type of exercises were really tough on me. So as you can see, I'm just watching Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. My entire childhood just hoped that it could help me through motivation wise. But honestly, for me, the second day is always the hardest. Like I can envision the exact pain and suffering it took. And so my body is traumatized and it know just it just knows what's coming, just what's in store for it. And my brain is just basically screaming at me not to do it. And once you manage through your demons in your mind, that's when you can get through anything like that is where you succeed. So, I mean, evidently, as you can see, I'm very comfortable taking a nap break, basically mid-exercise. Man, look at me go. Look at that plank. You go, girl. You know, sometimes you gotta hype yourself up, people. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> if you thought that it was getting any easier, it's not. <laughs> it took every fiber of my mental well-being to not skip day two. <laughs> this is the day where I literally gave up, like my body was so sore, I couldn't bend down to go to the bathroom. I did manage to take a beautiful walk outside, you know, I still managed to eat some healthy meals, wander off walking some more. You know, no matter what, let's just not be so hard on ourselves, people. I completely gave it my all, like, that's what matters. And then I picked myself up and tried another challenge. You can't ever lose that, you know, that magical energy of resilience through all the disappointments. Yes, this is exactly what I look like every single time I need to work out. Like, starting for me is just the hardest part of anything I do, literally, not just fitness wise, but career wise, you know, motivation wise, goals, like anything. It always feels like this unsurmountable monster that I just can't tame. But then once you get up, you know, you're already halfway there. A little bit of a hot mess at the moment. That's what's motivating me to start up this challenge again. Just to have more energy and, I don't know, just to feel less drained. So we forgot the most important thing, which was music. I usually like to mute. Um, videos and put my own random music just because it helps me like, you know, get more motivated. Gotta fix the bed for the internet, you know? <laughs> like exercises, I don't actually mind doing, like I love it. Well, okay, no, I don't love it, but like it's more relaxing. Absent cardio on the other hand, like together in the mix, that's what kills me. 
but I liked how this video incorporated a little bit of both, just so you can, you know, hate yourself and then also enjoy a little bit <laughs> of it as well. I just find that I'm always so hard on myself, like, about wanting to do all the videos without stopping the whole way through, but hey, who needs time to progress? Like, get that inside my brain. Rome wasn't built in a day, guys. Give your body time to figure itself out. Like Jordan Sparks said, one step at a time. There's no need to rush. I was procrastinating it all day, and then 9 o'clock in the evening hit, and I was like, I have to go, I have to do it. I'm gonna keep going and trying my best. <sighs> So I don't know if you can tell now, but you'll surely see in a few seconds, I'm really feeling this music. Like, you gotta find something that works for you. Some days I'll put on a TV show and then do the workouts to, you know, the stir of the drama. Um, other days I'm gonna need music. Like, I need the music down to my soul, down to the veins. I need to feel it through. So basically, you just have to have fun with it, you know, twist it around. Spin it in a positive way in your mind to help you get through it, to help you stay motivated and to finish it once and for all. I actually felt so much better today. Like I was literally putting on music and dancing it out. The exercises were so much easier and I had more strength to do them. What is this magic like? <laughs> basically just crawling away to my getaway car where I can just forget about all my sorrows and the whole pain of this workout. It was really hard. To be honest, I'm feeling really discouraged lately because I'm not seeing any results. Like obviously this is just day seven, but the exercises are getting so repetitive. Like it's literally the exact same exercises every single day. I am getting stronger in some of them. Like I'm really proud of myself about the side plank. In the first day, I literally wasn't able to hold it for even one second, but now I can do the whole 40 seconds on a side plank without like stopping. So there's that, but I don't know. I'm not seeing any lines yet or anything because usually after a workout, my muscles ache a lot, but the last couple days, like I just feel it lightly, like subtly. So I'm thinking maybe I'm not working hard enough, even though when I'm working, it's like I'm breathless, but so I don't know. I feel like Maybe I need to add cardio into the mix. And today's workout actually killed my booty. The longest one that I've ever done. It took me about an hour and a half to complete it just because I kept stopping in the end because I was so exhausted. I just couldn't wait to finish. But I have to be honest, like I feel so much stronger. Like you feel so accomplished after you finish a workout. I thought it was gonna be zero, like no difference, but I lost an inch. Hmm. Basically, I learned through this fitness challenge that everything is a battlefield for your mind. It's not even about your body. Your body can do anything that your mind puts it through. It's your brain that keeps whispering, give up, or one more second and I'm gonna die. As soon as you shush those thoughts and you just convince yourself that I can do it one more minute, a couple more minutes, then you'll make it further than you have ever thought before. 
you need to be your own personal coach. While you're doing the exercises, you need to have that voice in your brain that's telling you, yes, I can do this, a little bit more, a little bit more. I cannot stop now, I cannot give up now. You have to be that person for yourself. Even though I didn't go through both of these challenges completely, I wanted to still make this video because I'm human and sometimes we fail. And that's something that I don't really see on social media or the internet at all. I don't see people talking about their failures. It's only about their accomplishments, their highlights. And we tend to feel so down about ourselves because literally everything it <laughs> because literally everyone is doing great amazing things and then look at us. We're trying our ultimate best and we're still falling down. But listen, if you didn't accomplish your goal right now, it's yet. You didn't accomplish your goal yet, not never. There's still time. You have to pick yourself back up and never stop believing in yourself. So it's currently May and I started a cardio challenge every single day this month and alongside that I'm going to be going back to where I left off on the hourglass ab and butt challenge. I'm going to finish that off this month and then I'm going to go back and finish the first two weeks shred as well. Yes. You heard that right. You best believe I'm gonna do that. I already feel stronger and more capable than I've ever done before. These exercises and the days that I've actually done it have made me stronger. I feel like I can do more exercises. I feel like I can hold the plank longer than I've ever before. Why is the sun going away? No. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. I need your light. Yes, it listened to me. Okay, I have to hurry before it leaves again. And sometimes we have to go through these failures to really realize what we're made of. And during that progress time, during that journey, we get to see the rough edges of ourselves. We get to see how hard we're willing to work. And it's okay if we don't make it through because we're trying. Now listen, I lost an inch from this and I thought that I wouldn't lose anything. And it's a little, little, little bit of progress, but you know what? It's something. It's something in the right direction. And instead of sitting back and complaining about how much I hate my body and then literally doing nothing, towards it, I'm trying, I'm doing something. And that makes me feel so good about myself. Basically after this challenge, I wanted to waltz down the streets with my shorts and tank top. Like I feel so much more confident in my body. I just feel more confident now. It's really, really crazy. Like I've just gained so much more than I thought I would. Again, it's all in your mind. It's all in our mind. You won't always have motivation. Basically, you won't feel like doing it at all any day. You have to go beyond that. You can do this. You can start. You can. So love yourself, compete with yourself, and I'll still be here working hard and racing to the finish line. I'll see you soon.